in the picture <laughs> You have to ask the driver. Now this must be the Oh, 
Brother's very good. Awesome. But he's got a tuck on. Stop that. I'm not taking pictures, I'm just focusing. I don't know who's going and who no, isn't. I mean, like, you know, we're like, oh, you're right. I'm wrong. After you drop them, you have to give me a ride. So we can do a party. Theater of Alistair Cook. 
we didn't understand. So we all, you know, we wanted to watch uh, the Brady Band, uh, Brady Bunch, or the Jeffersons, or Sanford and Son, or the Partridge Family, and they were like, no, you know, if you don't do your chores, you'll be watching Masterpiece Theater with us. Uh, they, they, what a Jenny. Jenny has been on track for three years, or actually probably four, but she was a three-year varsity letter winner. Uh, she was our number one triple jumper both her junior and senior years. Her sophomore year, she was Iowa State. If you can imagine this young man spiking a ball over an eight-foot net, towering about a foot over that net, you can understand the jumping ability that this young man has. And uh, he was a three-time First team all league in volleyball, as well as a two time MVP in the league in that sport. Uh, in addition, he'll be attending Cal State Northridge in the fall and hopefully will be playing volleyball there. Who's <laughs> skating? Shona Gutierrez. Shona was a four year swimmer and water polo player. Uh, and participated on the team this year that was Bailey, Bailey Champs. Adam is a, a four-year baseball player at school here. He's two years on the varsity, made all league both of those years. But to show you what kind of person he is, he decided to go out for cross country as a senior for the sole purpose of improving his body improving his quickness, despite the fact that he didn't finish in front of the pack very often, he was out there improving his skills, working hard. Congratulations. <laughs> Terrence Allen. Yes. Terrence was a three-year starter on the football team, captain his senior year. Made all Bay League uh, as a junior, second team, and as a senior was first team all Bay League. As a track athlete, he was a four year uh, starter in the track program, two years varsity letter winner in the long jump and the triple jump. He's going to Hampton University on a football scholarship. Boomer wow. Wells. Boomer's a fine two-sport athlete. As a football player, he was three years on the varsity, started his junior and senior year, made second team all Bay League as a junior, first team all Bay League as a senior. In baseball, three-year varsity baseball starter, made all league both as a junior and senior year. Congratulations. Boomer. Billy Smith. Billy's a basketball player and a volleyball player. I had the pleasure of coaching him during his years on the basketball team. He was a three-year starter, made all league two years. Uh, his second year, he was a team MVP, and he was a two-year captain. As a volleyball player, he was a three-year starter, made first team all league as a junior, and as a senior, was most outstanding player of the league. Billy will be going to UC Davis next year, hopefully competing in sports. David's a tennis player, he was a four-year starter on a team that won CIF, um, won CIF championships both the sophomore and junior year. Played very well, won three sets in their match yesterday for the CIF finals, although we fell short 8-10. He, he represented himself in the school very well, very proudly, and uh, he's multi-talented. He's been asked to play both singles and doubles, and we're looking forward to seeing him playing college tennis. Rachel Deco. <laughs> Nick came to Beverly two years ago. He's a performer in our wrestling program, outstanding wrestler. Uh, as you know, we just began our wrestling program or restarted our wrestling program two years ago. And uh, one of the main reasons for the success. 
The uh, Don Tronstein Award is awarded to uh, uh, a student athlete who presents himself or herself uh, in the community uh, in a very exemplary way. Uh, the young man that I'm going to uh, award this uh, plaque to is uh, John Feldman. I welcome you on behalf of your city council, and I'm honored to be in the presence of so many fine young student athletes. The Mayor's Perpetual Trophy is awarded to those athletes who the coaches think <laughs> along with the female athlete of the year comes an obligation and you've seen all these student athletes come before us but not one has spoken we have co-male athletes of the year who are probably thinking what am I going to say right now they are Billy Smith and Brent Nash. Achievement and success in life. Or from day, from darkness to dawn. Nevertheless, a birth is upon us. From the reality of the old security and safety of the family and the familiar, to the thrill of freedom and expression and all that lies beyond this special moment. Like a young tree in the dead of winter, which can endure sub-zero blasts if its tether is strong and deeply rooted. 
you will soon stand in the world as an individual. And your dedication and your tether, pardon me, is a result of the consistency, the dedication, and the unwavering love of the parents and family that are sitting around you. And I think they deserve an applause. <laughs> Their roots and groundedness have allowed you to grow, to expand, to blossom, and now to fly. But with this freedom comes responsibility, and the challenge that you face is to find your true purpose in life, why you are here, what you have come to do, and how you might best manifest your gifts that you have been given in a world so much less fortunate than you a world that exists just beyond these doors. We counselors and administrators and teachers challenge you students tonight to find your own path, to give back to this world, and to someday become the roots and tether for a new generation. What you do matters. Who you are matters. You are no accident. Let us celebrate these triumphs tonight with joy, humility, and gratitude for the mosaic of players that have been on your journey thus far, your parents, your grandparents, your teachers, your coaches, your counselors, your mentors, your friends. I read recently that we all hide our gifts, our passions, and our dreams under our wings, and ironically, no one will ever see or know them unless we lift those wings and begin to fly. Students, your time to fly has come. The world awaits you. Our first performer this evening, we've brought some wonderful students here tonight. There is so much talent here at this school, and we thought it appropriate to highlight some of them for you as part of this beautiful evening. And our first performance will be by Noah Greenwald, who will be playing 316. I know he is very saddened by this, but uh, hopefully I'll be an adequate stand-in. Uh, tonight we are assembled to honor senior students who have distinguished themselves in their years at Beverly Hills High School. As your teachers, counselors, and administrators, we are extremely proud of your accomplishments. We are confident that you are well prepared to leave Beverly and embark upon the next phase of your life and succeed at whatever you may choose to do. We applaud all of our students for their efforts to be the best that they can be in their very endeavors. Continue to work hard to meet new challenges, to take risks, and to be excited about learning. Thank you to the parents, teachers, and counselors, and administrators who have worked to make this night possible. Thank you also to tonight's sponsors for their financial support for, for the scholarships we are handing out this evening. Before our first words are announced, I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the person who year after year has spent countless hours planning this very special evening to perfection and also to bid her a fond farewell. Counselor Marlene Mish is moving to Oregon after 24 years at Beverly Hills High School. Oh, wow. Marlene. <laughs> Marlene, thank you for, uh, for your years of devotion to students and for all of your hard work. We surely will miss you. Marlene, would you please stand? And lastly, a very special thank you to Leanne Domnitz and Chuck Howard for so capably assisting Mrs. Mitch and helping to coordinate this evening's festivities. And now, and now it is my pleasure to introduce John Suckling, President of the Alumni Association, who will make tonight's first presentations. Mr. Suckling.
congratulations to our graduates and their families. And welcome to membership in our Alumni Association. We have approximately 26,000 graduates from our school since it started years ago, 1928. And we have 17,000 of them. We know where they are. They're in our computer somewhere. And <clears throat> there are 4,500 MIA. I don't know where they are. And about 4,500 that are now deceased. Uh, to help us, you can do two things. One right now and one later. One, before you leave tomorrow, tomorrow you can leave $1 and your name and address in Mr. Bushman's office so that we can put it in the computer and that dollar will help cover our costs of doing so. The second thing you can do is the hardest part. When you move, please tell us. It's easy to remember to tell the telephone company or to tell your friends that we're going to get a new driver's license if you have to, but it's easy to forget to tell our alumni association. Well, first, I guess I should say we have 17 present active members of our alumni board of directors. We have five new directors in process with emphasis on the younger graduates. We want more younger graduates involved. And we have three honorary directors. Uh, we meet uh, quarterly and we do lots of things in between quarters. Uh, some of the things that we do are scholarships that we're handing out tonight. And <clears throat> tonight, I think, uh, <clears throat> Adam, would you turn that plaque around? And, uh, that plaque, we started in 1981. And after tonight, we will have awarded 80 scholarships. And <clears throat> the total amount of money involved is about $120,000. It's something we take very seriously. And <clears throat> we are work on special progress, uh, projects, like right now we're working on a special anniversary for the 75th year of our school. And that will happen in the latter part. Right now we think it'll be November of 2002. Uh, <clears throat> we help on class for you. Kids, remember when your class wants to get together 10 years from now? We have all including nine years of math and science. He's a talented athlete, athlete artist, an athlete, enjoys spending his leisure time painting, drawing, running, weightlifting. He has been involved in the Shalom Club, has an internship at Century City Hospital. He plans to uh, undertake a pre-med curriculum at UC San Diego this fall. And his name is Sharam Harun Tarani. Would you please come forward and receive the award? Sharam, would you come forward and receive your award? The second award goes to a young woman who, she has a delightful disposition, that's always helpful, is positive and happy. She has pursued a rigorous academic program at Beverly with honors and advanced placement classes, demonstrating special strengths in the humanities. She's involved in many aspects of student life on our campus. She's the editor of the Foreign Language Literary Magazine. She's vice president of the California Scholastic Federation. She is hostess of the TV show, Careers, which is broadcast regularly on KBEP Beverly. She is also involved in many technical aspects of the show, as well as being a hostess. She is planning to major in journalism and communications when she goes to university, and she will be attending UC Berkeley. Uh, her name is Shelley Rosenfeld.
Thanks Award, according to her counselor. She's one of the finest students who's ever had the pleasure of counseling. She arrived here at the beginning of her junior year from Korea, was placed in EL3, but was also placed in honors math analysis and chemistry. She learned, earned a perfect score on her math PSAT and her SAT2 math exam. She has nothing less than an A in every class that she has ever taken. By taking extra summer school classes, she made herself eligible early for university admission. She's been instrumental in making